Welcome back to another episode on Jack TV. Today we put together and executed yet another loyalty test. Trey wanted to put his girlfriend Jelly to the loyalty test to see if she was truly loyal to him or not. So you guys, here's the thing. Trey and Jelly actually met on a dating show called Matt, and that is how they actually met each other, and that is how they actually got together. You sound like you got trust issues. That's the biggest reason why I'm saying because I got trust issues, and my trust issues get me in trouble because I feel like a lot of people, when they got trust issues, they assume a lot. When you assume a lot, you do shit that you don't mean, or you do shit off the impulse of your assumptions. But as time went on, Trey didn't think it was a good idea to actually jump back into a relationship right away because he has just got cheated on in his previous relationship. And now in his current relationship, Trey is claiming that Jelly is now showing those same signs. Hey. Yeah, what's up? That's the fuck with y'all? Yeah, so what you find? Oh Open shit. What the fuck is you doing, bro? Bro, what is you, you doing? You look like a big ass mustard body. Get the fuck out the car, man. Welcome back to another episode on Jack TV. Britt wanted to put her boyfriend Danny to the loyalty test to see if he was truly loyal to her or not. Basically, I put him up to this test because his whole vibe just changed. He started acting different. I called him a couple of lies. His phone be ringing nonstop in the middle of the night. He be saying he going to work, but yeah, he come back oh. the next day. So he got a whole list there. Yep. So you guys, for today's test, we had a lot to work with. Thanks to Britt, we knew that Danny's birthday was in two days. So I thought it would be a good idea to use that to our advantage. We knew if we helped Britt come up with a gift to give Danny as an early birthday gift, it wouldn't raise any suspicion. So that's exactly how we engaged our test. We rented out an entire spa facility to see if Britt boyfriend Danny was truly loyal to her or not. We hired our good friend Nancy to pretend to be the receptionist and work the front desk so she can give him instruction on where to go. And our friend Fancy to play the decoy. Now what Danny doesn't know, while Fancy is giving him the massage of his life, the whole team and Britt will be right down the hall in the green room set up as our command center watching the entire thing from a live feed we set up. So how long y'all been together? About three years. So at what point did he start showing these red flags? It's only been like the last couple months, I'd probably say about six months. But have you ever just really just caught any, caught him doing anything with another female? No, and that's why I didn't want to just jump to conclusion without any receipts or any proof. So that's why I was like, let me just do this and if he passed, he would probably wouldn't even know nothing about it, but I don't even wanna just jump on him and not knowing if that's what it really is. Okay, so if he do pass, you wouldn't want me to post it? No. So if you don't wanna post a pass, if he fail, you would want me to post it? If he fail, I want you to post it because- So why wouldn't you want me to post him passing? You because, just... uh, I mean, it's just gonna be like, I, cause I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna feel stupid because it's like, damn, I really thought that. So you guys, I'm starting to notice a pattern. I've had three couples who actually passed the loyalty test but did not want to post their video because they did not know how their significant other will react to them not trusting them. Okay. But if he failed, it's like you post all this online, you publicly post to me, you love me, this and that, you could post all that publicly so you could post how you, you know, you fucking up behind doors. Okay. So we had our camera set up, everybody was mic'd up. At this point, we were just waiting on Danny to arrive. So I told her to go ahead and call him to make sure that he was really on his way because I didn't want him to show up early and nobody wasn't ready or he was just a surprise to everyone. Just be smooth, be natural, calm. Hey babe, what you doing? Spot Did you let the dog out before you um before you left the house? Yeah, I let him out. I just called it really called to remind you about the appointment. You can't be late today because remember they had um limited spots. Uh yeah, I got you. Appreciate you for taking care of me too. Really appreciate it. Bugly. Where you was at though? You weren't even at the crib when I left. You can go somewhere else, bro. Um I, I had to go run to the grocery store to get something. Why are you in my business? <laughs> I was just wondering where you was since you usually at the house and I leave you so I will be there when you get home. Alright. I love you. I love you too. Alright, bye. Bye. Whew. You almost panicked there. <laughs> 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 Hold on. She looked at me like what? <laughs> Anybody ready to go? Are we ready? Stancy's ready to go. Roger that. Hey, Danny here. You walking in right now. AT, once you get to the dressing room, you can come back to the command center. Hi, right, ugly nigga. Hey there, welcome in. Hey, how you doing? I'm Danny. I'm here for an appointment. My girlfriend booked for me. Okay, perfect. Alrighty, if you want to follow me this way, we'll go ahead and get you all set up. 
Thank you. Hey, Jack, this shit about to be crazy as fuck. So now that Danny is in the dressing room changing out of his clothes, everyone is in position to be ready to start the test. All we are waiting on now is for him to be guided to the room where Fancy will be posing at his masseuse and the test will begin. Fancy and you. I'm Danny. Okay, nice to, nice to meet you. I'll be your masseuse. Yeah. Um, okay, so have you ever had a massage experience before? No, I never. It's no. Okay, all right, good. Well, you can go ahead and take off your robe and put it over there on the other bed for me. All right. Okay, you look nice in that robe, baby. Appreciate it. I love these robes too. Robes um, my right. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Massage. Go ahead. <laughs> Tell me why she, he look nice in that room. She's doing too much. Nah, she gonna do her job for sure. Okay, and you never had a massage, so yo, you you ain't got a woman, cause you ain't never had a massage, so she ain't never massaged you. Yeah, I got a woman, but I've never had a professional massage before. So she massages you though? Yeah. Oh, how yeah. often? Mm, I probably had a massage about four or five times. Wait, and how long y'all been together? Three years. And only just a handful of times? Yeah, I did. Oh. oh, she should be doing more than three to four or five times, whatever you said. She's shady as fuck. She ain't selling. She just doing her job, doing the best she can to pull the answers out. Don't take nothing personal that she said. Yeah, I guess I do need to pull up here more. It's a beautiful place. Uh, yes. I mean, you need to get your woman who can massage you every day like this. Wouldn't you like that? I definitely would. I'm a busy man. I work a lot. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So, do she touch on you like this, or how she touch on you? Uh, it's more like I'm usually just sitting down, you know, shoulder rubs, basically. Right. Right. He, he okay. is lying. Does this feel like real good to you? You give him massages? Yes, often? all the time. All the time. I'm loving it. Okay. Yes. It's like other things that I can do too. What else do you do? I think in your package I saw that you're getting the jacuzzi. Oh, they got a jacuzzi here? Yes. So, I mean, what do you think about me coming join you in the jacuzzi? Oh, yeah, I'm good with it. Okay, just making sure you ain't got no crazy girlfriend that's gonna <laughs> come up here and act crazy on me. Nah, nah, she know I'm up here. She know I'm getting my massage and everything. I'm pretty sure she knew we had a hot tub too, so. Oh, okay, well she not gonna know about us spending that together. I hope it's not a situation where he blames you you know what I mean? I mean, you're right, but it's not really that big of a deal. That we probably gonna try to do. I mean, I, mean, I can. But if we do, but if we do, you okay with that? If something else happens? I mean, what do you have in mind? I mean, how about we go over there now, and I'll just show you. Now? Yes. What do you think? Uh. Yeah, I'm down. Um, You're down. Okay. I'm pretty, pretty sure the jacuzzi will feel better. Okay. Although Danny just agreed to get in the hot tub with our decoy fancy, he has not yet failed this test. At this point, all he's really done was get a massage. Fancy mentioned joining him in the jacuzzi in a flirty way, but Danny maybe could have interpreted that in a non-flirty way, which is why phase two of this test will take place in the jacuzzi, where Fancy will turn it up a notch and ask Danny to go back to her crib. Let's go. So, how you feel about him actually about to go get in the jacuzzi? He know he ain't coming for it, so I'm confused. <laughs> hey. I know, you do too. I told you that already though. So, how you liking it so far? How you liking it so far? You like it? What, is it really hot? At the end of the day, he know what he should and should not do. So. Exactly. It feel real good. I come sit by you? You don't mind, huh? Okay. Just chilling. I mean, nobody else coming in here but us. Why? I do. I know. Is she sitting on him? No. How much time you got to spare after this? Is that an automatic fill for you? Yes. Oh, okay. So you want to give me like a little massage because I gave you one? 
you want me to get I mean, yeah, just a little bit. You'll be all right. You're supposed to be the one that gives me a I know, but you can give me one. Oh, that feels good. This against our policy, but it'll be okay. Maybe I should start working here. You should. I'm gonna go home and have a few drinks after this. You wanna come? You can just go have one little drink. Don't be like that. It's one little drink. It's one little drink. One little drink, okay? One little drink. We can do it after this. We'll be okay, okay? Keep massaging me. Don't stop massaging me. I didn't tell you to stop massaging me. I know that. I know, and you are too. That's why we need to make something happen. You okay with making something happen? Yeah, I'm I mean, we've been talking about the same, same <laughs> thing. We're going to go to my house after this. I don't stay too far. We're going to have a few drinks and we'll see what happens, okay? Uh huh, but I didn't tell you to stop massaging me. I mean, at any given time that you want to go in, we, we can go in. We, we can stop it. It's up to you, though. Oh, okay, yeah. So I'm going to introduce you to some of the things tonight when we go to my house, okay? Right. Some shit you ain't never seen before. Okay, as long as you're here for a little while night, baby. He already failed it. Like, it's no, it's no coming back from this. He failed it. Okay, so do you want to go? Yeah, come on, let's Britt didn't want this to go on any longer. The main goal was to see if he would agree to go back to Fancy House, in which he did. Comment in the comments if you consider this a fail in your book. In Britt's eyes, he completely failed, and now she gets her chance to confront Danny. What the is this? What? What? You came here for one thing. You came here for a massage. What the is this? You don't hear me talking to you? You don't hear me talking to you? You don't want me talking to you? What is going on? Are you? you got I, 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 I can't even do nothing nice for your birthday because you want to do all this? Set me up. Set you up? You set yourself up. Nah, you set, you set me yourself up. up. You knew what was you going on. You came here for one thing. One thing. You I can't do like one thing. I came to get a massage. I came to get a massage. A massage. That's more than a massage. We was in the hot tub. I got my massage and we got in the hot tub. Okay, well, you came here for one you thing. Okay, okay, so how to go from the hot the massage to the hot tub? They ain't talking about, you don't, I don't give you massages and all that. What's up with that? What's up with that? Since when I don't give you massages? Why you got all these fucking cameras pulling up? I was actually trying that. to give you the benefit of the doubt. Oh, I was that, hoping. That shit, I was hoping. that shit is dead. Damn my ass. You mad because you got fucking cut. You mad because you got cut. You full of shit. Like my birthday is in a couple of days. You full of shit. You set yourself up. That shit You set yourself up. 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 Now you trying to go. You wasn't trying to go when you was in that hot tub. You wasn't trying to go when you was in that. You was real content in the hot tub. This shit is dead. This shit is over. Like we going home. We want, we ain't going no. You better go with the, with the with your your hot tub, buddy. So this shit over. Dead. That shit crazy as hell. Over a fucking hot tub. Over a hot tub. You came for a massage. How you get from off the massage table to a hot tub? Did I tell you anything about a hot tub? I'm How the fuck get, you even get in the I'm hot tub? We finna get dressed and we finna dip. We, we ain't finna go nowhere. We, going we ain't finna go nowhere. Crazy. You full of shit. Crazy. You full of shit. I'm finna and I actually crazy. thought you was gonna pass. I'm finna get my shit. Whatever. He really full of shit. He full of shit, but I, I should have been new. I should have been new. The signs was there. I actually gave him the benefit of the doubt, but he fucked it up for himself. All I needed was the proof. It been there. He full of shit, but it's over. It's dead. He ain't got nothing. He ain't got to worry about nothing. I hope when he go home, he know he can get his shit and get the fuck out of my house. That's what we can do. Happy birthday. I should have been through that. I sh I sh I'm telling you from the way he act, the, the midnight calls, the text messages, the vibe, the vibe be off. I should have been through that. I just was trying to hope I wasn't overthinking it and trying to like have insecure issues and stuff, but he really just blew it for himself. Like he fucked up for that. Like I really, I honestly thought he was gonna pass. All right. So as long as we got your answers, um, that's 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 all that matters. Do, do you mind if I use the footage? No, I really don't. I told you from the beginning. If he oh, if yeah. he failed, that's his ass. I don't care about none of that. You can post all that online. You can publicly love me. Let let your followers know this. Let your fan base know. Whatever you try to persuade to the public, show them that you really you ain't shit. I kind of feel like he could have passed if you wouldn't have did all that, right. but. 
Yeah, no, I was just going to say, like, I mean, he's clearly easily influenced. Like, it don't take much to... And, and you're right. You know, like, and, and you're right. Well, you're right. I'm not... Me, so he just was ready to just leave me after this. Like, I was able to tell you, let's go to the jacuzzi, do us. Like, he knew that you paid for this. You set this up. So you could have came here any time, like, surprise him, pick him up, bring him something to eat or anything. So, yeah, child, get rid of him, girl. Yeah, because just as easily as you influence him, the next year, you probably can do right. the same. So he can get the fuck, honestly. Right. I don't even care no more.